Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to talk about how to act and how to respond when you get a one star review because it's gonna fucking happen. Something was brought to my attention recently, and I guess this has been going on for a couple weeks now, and I'm just like late to the party, like everything fucking else that I do, you know? So what's going on is there was, and I, I, I don't want to get like too in the weeds with this and too in depth. There was this guy who writes extreme horror. Someone on booktube said that he wrote female characters poorly or something, gave him a bad review on his book. He completely lost his shit. So what this guy did, because he was so mad at this bad review, he quickly wrote a new book, dedicated the book to the chick who reviewed his last book, and then called her um, uh, N. Atsi, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. I was, I'm trying to like make this video okay for the tubes here. What this guy did horribly wrong was just acknowledge it, let alone all the other shit that he did. And one of the things that this guy said was something along the lines of he doesn't think women should be scared of men or if women say they're scared of men they have problems or whatever and it's like you just did the thing that proves the point why women should be terrified of men you know someone gave an opinion of your book and then you like kind of attack them and then on top of that i mean this dude's older you know and this chick's pretty young, so he should fucking know better. Here's the fucking thing. You are going to get bad reviews for your book. Not everyone is going to like your book, okay? But just know that for every bad review you get, there's going to be like 10 or 15 people who really like your work. Maybe even more. And I know it's so easy to focus on the few people that dislike you and say negative things about you. And it makes you forget that all these other people think you're fucking awesome. But you can't let the, like, negativity rule your fucking life. There's a lot of people I know who don't read any reviews, good or bad, of their own work. Because they're afraid of how it'll make them feel, you know? You just, you can't let this shit like run your life and if you can't break that then maybe this isn't the thing for you like if you're gonna write like a brutal fucking fantasy horror thing if someone says they don't like your book maybe maybe you shouldn't be putting your work out if you have to write that stuff out you know like maybe you should be like selling insurance or something like that like, people, every day someone says they fucking hate what I do. Whether it's my work or this fucking YouTube channel. Every time I post a fucking video, I lose a subscriber. It's just how it is. You know? But then I gain 10 or 15. It's just how it is. You will find your tribe, and your tribe will fucking love you. But just because people subjectively do not like your work and critique it, doesn't give you the right to like attack them and make them feel unsafe and i don't know if she feels unsafe i i don't really i'm not in that game i don't really understand what the fuck's going on over there but just this idea that this even fucking happens is fucking crazy who fucking cares because, like, honestly, I don't know anything about the situation, but the fact that this guy has gone to these lengths, I'm assuming that he has a crush on this chick, and she didn't like his book. So, because he doesn't know how to have normal human interactions, he's gonna, like, put her pigtail in the inkwell. You know what I'm saying? I don't fucking get it. So, whatever. Like, if someone... Okay, everyone. All writers out there, poets, everybody... You are going to get bad reviews. No matter how perfect your work is, you will get 
bad reviews. And you just have to take it. It's just something that fucking happens. So don't let it fucking get you down. Don't worry about it. It will happen. It happens to everyone. Okay? So just keep your chin up and just keep fucking writing. You know? Fucking type hard. Do the fucking thing. You know how this goes. Bloodshed Review, Issue 3, Jeff Taylor, Adam Crawford, Tamara Albana, out now. My newest chapbook, On the Beach, also out now. Sometime this week, there is going to be a big announcement about the Bloodshed Review. And my sale, my crazy, crazy fuck you sale, is still going on right now. And again, buy three, get one free. Okay? And... Like, pretty much everything's under 10 bucks on my site right now, okay? Go over to my Etsy shop. Links will be down below. And, again, just keep your fucking chin up, guys. So, um, if you like this, do the thing. And there will be more videos for you to watch here or here. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.